Hello and welcome to the Sunday Afternoon Modular. This will be a bit more a theoretical video focused on beginners who want to do their first steps within the world of modular synthesizers. When I started with modular synthesizers, I actually did not have any clue what modules do I need and how do I have to patch them together. So in this video, we will have a look on what we need for a basic modular synthesizer with two oscillators and how we patch the modules together. All right, let's start. Now, first we have a sequencer or MIDI interface. This is needed to be able to send notes to our modules. This can be a sequencer module, like uh, the Liveforms microsequence from Pittsburgh Modular that I often use, or an external sequencer with CV outputs like uh, the Arturia keystep or beatstep. Or a MIDI interface where you can connect a MIDI device such as a MIDI keyboard. From here on we have two signals. One is the pitch signal that tells the oscillator in what pitch the tone shall be. And one is the gate signal that tells, hey, I want to play a tone, open the gate. Now, the pitch signal gets patched to the one volt per octave input of the oscillator. This is the red line. Since we have two oscillators in this setup, we need to split the pitch signal we do this with a buffered multiple. Multiples just copy a signal from an input to many outputs. A buffered multiple, on the contrary to passive multiples, needs power. In this case, a buffered multiple is preferred because there is no loss of the level of the pitch signal. Some oscillators do have a pitch through or pitch out, so the second oscillator could get the pitch signal from oscillator 1. So now we have the pitch signal fed to the two oscillators. And because we have two oscillators, we also have two sounds that we want to bring together again. And we do this with a mixer module. Two oscillators are cool because we can get a denser sound. We can have them differently pitched and also can output different waveforms. Some oscillators come with a sub-out. They, simultaneously to the main out, put out the signal that is one or two octaves deeper than the original signal. Now from the mixer we go into the filter. You don't necessarily need a filter, but it's cool to add some filter sweeps to your sound to make it more lively. Some put the filter before the VCA, but there are also many that put it behind the VCA. Now from the filter, we go into the VCA. A VCA is a voltage controlled amplifier. It allows us to amplify the signal while maintaining the relative levels. Now there was something else, right? Of course, the gate signal. That tells us when a tone or note shall be played. We patch the gate signal into the envelope module. Also often called ADSR because you can control the attack, decay, sustain and release of the signal. The envelope module then gets patched into the CV input of the VCA, so our VCA can receive the envelope signal. Now, as soon as we press the key on our MIDI keyboard, it sends a pitch signal to our oscillators so they know which note to play, and a gate signal that we can shape with the envelope if we want a rather short or long tone, which then at the end tells the VCA, hey, open the gate, there is a tone that wants through. Depending on what we set on the envelope, the gate will have a rather hard or soft attack, which tells if the gate opens fast or slow. Short or long decay, so how much time it needs to sink from the maximum voltage level to the level of sustain. Sustain sets the voltage level that is kept as long as I hold down the key on my MIDI keyboard. 
and release sets the time it needs to sync from the sustain level to zero, so when I stop pressing the key of the MIDI keyboard. That's basically it, an easy modular synthesizer to start with. You can expand it with more oscillators, add effect modules like reverb or delay, big crusher, overdrive or distortion modules, and so on. But this should give you a good start. What you don't see here is an output module. If you want to feed your sound to external speakers or an audio interface to record it on your computer. As modular signal levels are far above line level signals, I do strongly recommend an output module. Otherwise, there is a risk of damaging your audio interface or speakers. I made a video about the different signal levels. The link is in the video description. Alright, that was it. I hope that wasn't too much theory and I hope this gives you a good start as I really struggled with what do I need and how do I have to patch it together when I started with modular synths. If you like this video, leave me a like, subscribe to the channel, drop me a comment and hopefully see you next time on the